Welcome to this special edition of Frequency Matters. I'm Gary LaRude from Microwave Journal, and I'm here with Brian Goldstein, who's the general manager of the Aerospace and Defense Business Unit at Analog Devices. Brian, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, Gary. Brian, from your position, uh, as you look at the aerospace and defense market, what trends are you seeing, and how is Analog Devices positioning to address those? Uh, you know, as you know, in the aerospace and defense market, trends always start with size, weight, and power. Mm. Smaller platforms like UAVs, handheld radios, microsatellites all require smaller, right. lighter systems that require less battery power. Um, new requirements that we're seeing include modular, configurable, cognitive systems. Um, new systems are required to get to market faster. Mm -hmm. um, the money that's available for investment is smaller. So modular systems are being developed so that they could be reused from system to system over time. We can get to market faster. We can reuse these systems in multiple platforms. Um, Software-defined systems that are cognitive and reconfigurable, for example, software-defined radios that self sense interference signals, hmm. uh, can self-avoid, can move the frequency, can change the modulation scheme in, in the face of interference. Another example, radar systems uh, that can cover multiple frequency bands and multiple applications. Um, imagine radar systems that can do tracking, can do mapping, can do electronic surveillance and countermeasures, communications. Um, reconfigurable, uh, programmable, changing the frequency band, changing mm -hmm. the modulation schemes, uh, being able to do all of these different applications all simultaneously. Right. How is analog devices positioning to, to address these trends you've just described? We're attacking it in m many ways. It, again, it starts at the semiconductor level. We're designing on smaller nodes in silicon. For instance, 28 nanometer mm. is allowing us to go higher in frequency and dramatically reduce power consumption uh, and reduce costs associated with integrated RF microwave uh, functionality. Size weight reduction through multiple levels of integration, starting at the die level, uh, where we're able to combine now RF, analog and digital functionality on silicon. Heterogeneous die, where we're able to integrate multiple flavors of silicon, gas, and GAN onto a single substrate, mm. and then ultimately leading to a system in a package, uh, component level packaging, as well as complete integrated modules and subsystems. Multifunction cognitive systems uh, are dependent on high speed converters, and our right. integration of the high speed converters with our full RF microwave portfolio is allowing us to do some interesting levels of integration at the chip level. Uh, as uh, shown in our new Radioverse transceiver mm -hmm. uh, product family, which enables programmable, adaptable systems in extremely small form factors. And then ultimately, our ability at the system level to integrate the components into larger, higher levels of assembly um, are, are forming uh, partnership relationships with our customers because they're seeing that we add more than component level expertise, we now offer system level expertise and the ability to design and manufacture these higher levels of integration is something that's a real differentiator for us. 